Over the past two weeks, NASCAR has taken a three-race trip to the three smallest tracks on the schedule. These tracks are Richmond Raceway, Bristol Motor Speedway, and Martinsville Speedway. I'm Robert Young, and welcome to the NASCAR Short Track Edition of The Hivecats. Martinsville to finish our short track trip, let's go over what happened in the past two races at Richmond and Bristol. First, at Richmond, William Byron and Martin Truex Jr. were battling for the lead with 29 to go when Tyler Reddick spun and brought out the caution. Once that happened, Kyle Larson took the lead and held off a late charge from Josh Berry to take his first win of the season. Kyle Larson may have won, but Josh Berry showed that he can race very well in the Cup Series level. Congratulations to Larson and HMS for their victory. Then at Bristol, the dirt race was just filled with excitement. There were several cautions throughout the race, and several would-be contenders were eliminated. But there was also a revenge story during the race. Kyle Larson was trying to pass Ryan Priest, but accidentally pushed him into the outside wall. Priest was obviously unhappy about it, but he had fallen too far behind to do anything. But later in the race, Larson spun out on his own, allowing Priest to catch up to him. Priest took full advantage of the opportunity, running Larson into the wall and causing him to spin. Well, you know what they say, Robin's racing. In the closing laps, Christopher Bell, Ian Tyler Reddick were fighting for the lead when there was a crash on the backstretch, causing a caution. Christopher Bell had taken the white flag by that point, and was in the lead when the caution came out. So, Christopher Bell got his first win of the season. Congratulations to Bell and JGR for their victory. Now, here are a few updates from this week. First, after the Richmond race, NASCAR penalized William Byron and Alex Bowman after their cars were taken for a random inspection and were found to have something illegal on the car. They were docked 60 drivers and owners points each, including 5 playoff points, were fined $75,000 each, and their interim crew chiefs were suspended for 2 weeks. On Tuesday, Hendrick announced that they would not appeal this penalty and would devote that time to the performance on track. Good luck to Hendrick Motorsports this week. Next, I am happy to say that Chase Elliott will be returning this week for the race at Martinsville. He has been out for most of the season due to his leg injury but now he will be returning to the track. Glad to have you back, Chase. And last, but definitely not least, Cody Ware has been suspended indefinitely from NASCAR. On Sunday, he wasn't in the 51 car at Bristol. Instead, truck series regular Matt Crafton took his place. Rick Ware Racing said that he was out for personal reasons, but on Tuesday, it was announced that he had been arrested and charged for assault on a female in assault by strangulation. Our thoughts and prayers go to the victim's family. Now let's head to Martinsville, Virginia for our last short track race in the spring. Martinsville Speedway was built in 1947 and is the oldest track on the grid. It has been nicknamed the Paperclip because of its odd shape. It is one of the toughest tracks on the circuit. Why? Well, think of it like this. At Talladega, the cars have restrictor plates that help to reduce their speed. At Martinsville, the drivers must apply a mental restrictor plate to their right foot. Now I think it's time for Robbie's pick. I think that the winner of the NoCo 500 will be... Denny Hamlin. He has won several times at Martinsville in the past and has been in contention for quite a few races this season. I feel that he will get his first win of the season this week. Hey listeners, if you have any questions or comments, email them to matthew.collier at lcsd.k12.sc.us. That's matthew.collier at lcsd.k12.sc.us. I'll be sure to read any questions you have in the next episode. Well, that's all for this episode of the Hivecast. Be sure to check out the Stinger website for more student-made content. 
I'm Robert Young saying, crank it up boys, let's go racing.